Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Layla, hope you're doing well. Today we're gonna be doing a 10 minute ab shredder. This is a really difficult workout. I had to take longer breaks than we're actually doing in the workout just to make sure I was demonstrating the exercises half decently. So if you need to stop the video or stop during an exercise, that is absolutely fine. As you keep doing it, your abs will keep progressing and getting stronger and then you won't have to stop as much. I've been doing it more since I filmed the video because I filmed it a few weeks ago and it's starting to get easier and I'm not having to stop as much at all. The workout is going to run with three sets. On the first set, we do 10 exercises and we do them for 30 seconds each. Then we do those same exercises for 20 seconds and then 10 seconds in the last set. And we're gonna repeat um, the same 10 exercises throughout the whole workout. So let's just get into it. Okay, this isn't part of the workout, but my dog came and joined me and I thought this was super cute. So we'll start in three, two, one. We're starting off with hollow rocks. This is a really, really good exercise. It burns already and I've not even done that many yet, but just keeping your nice hollow shape, shoulders rounded, core engaged, and your back should always be on the floor. There should be no arches. And you're just kind of going back and forth between your butt and below your shoulders. So in three seconds, we're moving straight on to lemon squeezes. So you have your hands behind you and then you are just crunching into a ball from a dish shape to a ball continuously. So in a sec, we're moving on to regular crunches. You just want to put your hands behind your head, lock them, and keep your eyes up at a slight angle at the ceiling instead of straight ahead, just because this helps you from curling your neck and using your head to get you up instead of actually using your core. So this should really burn your upper abs particularly. And just keep crunching. It's not a full sit-up, just until you get your shoulder blades off the floor and then back down. So now we're moving on to bicycle crunches. These are really hard for me. I actually hate them so much. So right now I'm kind of dying. I do these more slow and controlled, but you can do them at whatever pace you want. They both are a good workout in either way. Either way. So this is really targeting your obliques and just all your abs in general, really. So you wanna get your elbow to your knee on each side, keeping your core engaged. And this really, really burns. And again, you can do them either slow or fast. So now we're moving on to leg lifts. So hands under your butt and legs up and down. I was dying at this part as you could probably tell. So you can either have your head on the floor or you can have it up. It really just depends on your preference. I don't think it really affects how much it burns your abs either way. And we're just lifting our legs up and down, obviously, and you want your back flat on the floor this whole time, no arches. So now staying with our hands under our butt, we're moving on to reverse crunches. So here you want your legs to have a slight bend and you're just driving your toes up to the sky and your butt should be leaving the floor. This really burns your lower abs. It's probably one of the best exercises for lower abs actually. And I didn't do a very good job at demonstrating them. Mine were a little out of control, so like there's a lot of bouncing when I reach the floor, it should be a bit more controlled, but you get the idea. So now we are moving on to Russian twists or cherry pickers. People call them different things. And normally this is a pretty easy exercise, but after you've just done the exercises before, this burns like crazy. So you wanna keep your back as straight as possible and make sure you're using your full range of twisting. You're not just moving your hands side to side. You really wanna be moving your whole torso side to side to really get that burn in your obliques. So in three seconds, we're moving on to my favorite exercise ever. So you're crossing your leg over the other, and then you're going to crunch, twist and get your elbow to touch your knee, crunch, and then go back down. 
For these movements are meant to be really clear. It should not be one fluid motion exercise. It's got all of the different parts combined and this absolutely burns your abs, but in a good way. And I really like it because there's not very much cardio involved. It's just solely your abs being shredded and you literally feel your abs being formed in this exercise, which I love. So now we're just changing to the other side and it just burns so good in your obliques and upper abs just everywhere. It's just such a good exercise and I absolutely love it. It is amazing. So even though it's burning, it's a good burn. So now we're moving on to the final exercise of the first set. We're going into flutters. So we're going into our dish shape and then you're just gonna kick your feet and this is an absolute burn up, but just keep going, you can do it. My shoulders could have probably been a bit further off the ground. The more you can get your shoulders off the ground, but still have your back on the ground, the better, because the more your core will be engaged. But just keep kicking and keep going. I know it burns, but the more you push now, it'll be easier later, so just keep going nearly there. And now you've finished the first set, and now we're gonna break for 10 seconds before we move on to the second set. This was my second attempt of the second set because my camera wasn't actually filming the whole time. So that kind of sucked, but here we go. Hollow rocks, keeping that nice hollow shape, core engaged. If you're breezing it and you're killing it and doing amazing and it's not actually burning that much, it's too easy. Put your arms by your ears. That'll make it a lot harder. So now we're moving straight on to lemon squeezes. This also burns your legs after a while, which is good. So it's kind of a two in one workout. You wanna get as many done as you can and go as fast as you can, but you also wanna make sure they're controlled and nice at the same time and you're actually using your core instead of just your speed. So now we're moving on to crunches. This is gonna really burn the upper abs, but just keep pushing. Make sure you're just using your core and not your arms if you need to stop you can but try and do as many as you can and try to keep it consistent you got this only five seconds to go before the next exercise so now we're moving on to our bicycle crunches this is really hard on the second set it's gonna hurt but just keep going you can do it do them as controlled as you want or as fast as you want whatever you like best Now we're going into leg lifts. Leg lifts will also burn your legs on the second set. Not only is it ab exercise, it also really hurts your legs. But that's okay, you just gotta keep going, engage both your legs and your core, and keep pushing, only five seconds to go. Now we're going straight into reverse crunches. Drive those toes to the roof. Make sure you're just as controlled on the way down as you are on the way up, and just keep working those lower abs. Now we're going into our Russian twists, only 20 seconds, you guys got this. Keep that back straight and remember to get your full range of rotation. Time I kind of messed up here, so just keep doing Russian twists even though I start on the next exercise. Okay, now we're going on to the side crunches. Remember, separating each motion, it shouldn't be fluid. And this is probably gonna be burning, but that is good. This is making your abs, your abs are coming through. Keep pushing, nearly time to switch. So switching in three, two, one, and switch sides and keep going. Okay, we're about to start the last exercise of the second set, getting into our dish shape and just keep kicking and keep that hollow shape. Get your shoulders as, as far off the floor as you can, but it's okay if you're in a flat shape. And just keep going and make sure there's no gaps between your back and the floor. Only five seconds to go, just keep kicking. Nearly there and done. Now we're gonna break for 10 seconds before we start the third and final set. 
we're about to start our third and final set. Just remember it's only 10 seconds, so you've got to push it out as hard as you can and get as many reps in as you can. So we're doing our hollow rocks and we're already finished our hollow rocks. Now straight into our lemon squeezes. Do these as fast as you can, but make sure you're still controlled and just get as many as you can in. We're almost there, two seconds to go, and bam, straight into our crunches. Keep crunching, do as many as you can. Only at five seconds to go already. Keep going, keep pushing, and then we're going straight into our bicycle crunches. I know these burn and they really suck, but only at five seconds to go already. Keep going, you can do these as fast as you can. Keep going. Now into leg lifts. I know this is really hard by the end. So if your back is coming off the floor, bend your legs slightly. But just keep going, get as many in as you can. And into reverse crunches. I know your abs are sore, but still try and keep them as controlled as possible. The more control, the better burn for your lower abs. And then straight into our Russian twists. Burning like crazy, keep that full range of rotation. Keep going side to side and straight into our cross crunches. These crunches right here are making your abs form. Your abs are getting shredded as we speak and now switch into the next side. Get that elbow all the way to the knee. Now we're onto the final 10 seconds. Just keep pushing like crazy. You are so close. Seven seconds to go, just keep going, keep kicking those legs, keep that back glued to the floor. Three, two, one. Well, that is the end. I hope you guys got a really good workout out of this and keep doing it around three times a week or more if you can. Your abs are probably gonna be really sore tomorrow though, so take a break. But yeah, just keep doing this workout and you will definitely start to see more definition in your abs as the weeks go on. So I hope this video helped you out. Please like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next week. I post every single Saturday, 6 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Thanks, guys.